All right, so this is Sue's Love and Tarot. I am getting ready to do. Now, I did Virgo, and I somehow uploaded that twice. <laughs> and now I'm on, um, I did... So I did Capricorn and then Virgo, or a Capricorn that was harnessing Virgo. Felt like it was connecting, like it was part of the story still. And I feel like this is too, because I was like, who wants to get read? So it was like these energies. Okay. So let's see if we can uncover some of the mysteries, okay, from whatever that, uh, both of those readings I did. Okay, so this would be like Aries. Aquarius energy and then we have like Leo energy and that was coming up as peacocks uh, in and also lions showed up too so Leo and Libra and see what the energies are trying to reveal so let's start with Aries and this card came up first it was allowing like going with the flow right encourages sees the potential in and clarifies okay so I feel like that's what uh, the Capricorn was doing to their friend was trying to help them and encourage them and move in clarity okay and was trying to inspire and kind of uplift energy okay a temper yeah tempering emotions that was coming up in temperance card in tarot okay and then here's cycles we talked about that and uh, and going through that change was going to help bring in new rewards and new prosperous places now so let's start with Aries let's see what that is physical body outlook self-image life philosophy consciousness opinions awakening and self-awareness arrival expression gateway entry point okay so that's what was coming up someone was trying to go in a new direction and needed support all right so let's see Aries all right, one card. Okay, so see, that's the encouraging any energy. Like uh, power in numbers, kind of like that. And helping and assisting and uplifting. Okay, so and four, love, love was the answer. Like um, the solution was the person returning to their natural state, which was uh, a playful, loving state. Okay, and so here is that. Okay, let's see if we could get another one. Okay, Divine Matrix. So building a new framework to move. Casting your net out, right? Okay. And uh, like Jesus walking on water. And uh, what is that? Okay, so um, bringing in multiple fishes. Okay, so I feel like the desire was multiple income. Okay, so preparations come to fruition, and they just need a little bit of encouragement from the friend to uh, keep moving in that direction. And then the trolls came in, okay, and this was the dream thief energy, refusal of the call. Okay, so that was the challenge. It was like if they didn't keep moving in the direction they were inspired to go in, they could go back into an old cycle and um, and then that would be like feeling really bad. Okay, refusal of a call. So that would encourage the friend was trying to help. Okay, to keep them moving. Okay, and whale song resonating. Okay, so and what I picked up and I don't think I touched on it, but um, the Capricorn had gone through something like a breakup or something, and that helped them feel compassion for their um, Libra, Aries, whatever the sign was. Okay. All right. And I feel like Aquarius was their challenge. If they had Aquarius in their chart, that was the energy that was challenging. Okay. But also the flush came out too. So flush, I figured out um, the king's uh, flush out the queens. Okay, so um, I kind of feel like that was saying the air energy was dominant and it was causing, uh, that was what was causing the uh, mind stuff. Okay, now. And then here is the sacred contract coming in. That's the Saturn energy, I feel like, over here. 
Okay. And it felt like that, like it was some sort of agreement. Okay. Yeah, see, this is that Saturn energy, sky writing. And the, that ink pen thing came out in the reading. Okay. And that was the Leo energy yesterday. And it was showing up today in the reading. Okay. With a different meaning. But then here is sky writing the fates. So it's like what is going on in your mind is what can manifest, right? And we can change our world by changing our mind. Okay, so that could fall into. And for some, it could have been an ego battle, although I didn't pick that up in the reading. Okay, so that could have been a thing here. Okay, so here's the crossing initiation. So I feel like this nine energy was completion of one and going into a new territory. Okay. And this was also like coming out of the shell and really exposing and feeling vulnerable. Uh, this was in the Aries energy, feeling vulnerable uh, to this new thing. Okay, and so this was like the troll stuff that was coming in, and it's like a, a friend was trying to help them go beyond that. Okay, grace and generosity, and that's the friendship energy that was coming in. Okay, and the three I was getting was, uh, they may not work together, but it was a work connection. Okay, so... And I felt like there could be some sort of union with that through time. But it could have been just, it could just end up being soul buddies uh, for long term, right? And then here is Joyful Muse. And that was the song that came up, was the, um, the Carol King song came up. Okay, and she was an Aquarius, I found out. Okay, all right, so that was popping up. Okay, in, in her song, it says, you've got a friend. And they were inspiring each other to go in the new direction, and traveling together was actually going to help them um, go beyond that. Here's Hollowbone. All right, so I feel like that's where this Leo energy, the ego and the teaching thing, Okay, it was like trying to, yeah, see, that's what I was getting. I was like, you, whoever this Aries or Libra energy was trying to gain footing in some new direction and didn't really feel that confident about it. And then, um, because they didn't feel confident, then all these other energies, it was like they could sniff it out. That kind of energy. Okay, so um, then that caused questioning of the self. And then and it was like trying to balance feeling good about self and then, uh, and then back and forth. Okay, so here's performances, entertainment, creativity, costume, play. Uh, passion, pleasure, parties, children, humor, romance, and disco ball. Okay, and so it, it takes uh, trusting the universe more, right? And uh, this was like not just going above the fray, but it takes a certain energy to miss that kind of uh, other troll energy. And that's like not looking there. Okay, and then here's the cosmic wound, the divine feminine energy, which is that compassionate energy that was coming in to help. And it was an earth sign. Okay. And this was like moving from the heart space. And I feel like the Capricorn energy that was assisting 
that open heart space is something that they will learn just through the interaction. It doesn't come from any words. Like this one is silent. And holding something. Oh, I never noticed that before. Yeah, and they're kind of encouraging each other to move into the land of plenty. And one, the challenge was money feelings around money. Spare the river, movement towards adventure. Okay, so it's like finding that compass that felt good. Using your compass, emotional compass, to feel good, to dance again. And Capricorn started with this dance card, so they were in that energy. Okay. Of joy and transformations. Woo! Sky dancers, surrender. So I feel like if two people who uh, were really friends, good friends, and could surrender and allow their emotions to kind of feel out instead of trying to restrict it like the um, holding back like the Leo strength card, right? Or the cancer shell. Okay. Yeah, and I feel like just engaging with each other, even with others, would help. Help it just flow. And then here's the new beginning, right? It was a moment in time. And then just, this is transmuting the pain and moving into some something beautiful. Feeling connected again. Trusting the universe. Connecting with the all and connecting with your buddy. <laughs> Yeah, and this was the, the Leo energy, ego sublimation. Okay, so um, finding that healthy uh, balance in that um, ego energy. And then this is the infinite potential. So you had the initiation card, and, and there was the call. And so if you cross the bridge, that's where your infinite potential is. So it's like, keep on going. Okay, I feel like you're on the right course. There might have been this gestation period. Okay, so what I'm getting with this is, okay, so when you take a new course and it's a big paradigm shift, that can affect the physical body too, so it's important what you're ingesting. It's like transmuting, uh, alchemizing the physical body also can help in moving uh, more with more momentum in the direction you want. That's what I'm getting. All right. Yeah, and that openness, again, is where this love is for. Okay, and new opportunities. So, as long as you weren't going back in the old patterns... And even if this perfect storm, right, uh, or whatever this was, the chatter in the winds, okay, um, it was helping you, whether it's uh, negatively charged or positively charged, it was all helping uh, for it to um, Go to a higher place. Feast of plenty. Choices and their consequences. And that's the Saturn energy. Okay. 
cause and effect. Sometimes, right, like in the Virgo reading, sometimes a person doesn't have to do anything. It just, the shadow energy just pops in because we're all creators. And if you have an open window, it can come in to, for you to pick up and express something with it. Okay, now, with that said, um, I feel like that Virgo was saying, uh, you know, it, it took two people to get entangled. One person wasn't completely innocent. Okay. All right. So, but that was just one story. Sometimes um, it happens, right? Where just the shadow comes. Okay. All right. And here's Dragon's Horde. Protection the future. Protecting the future. All right. And this could be also wanting to protect your energy, okay, and keep your pearls safe. And then here is wandering between realms. It's like trying to, do I want to stay in the past or do I want to go? And I think there's only one way. It's like you might have gone into the shadow a little bit to pick up the wisdom, some of the new stuff. Or the old stuff that's trying to reform into the new. That's the paradigm shift here. And that was coming up as mental battles and even physical battles. Okay. And uh, competition. And the moon energy came up too. It was a Cancerian energy. Okay. Yeah, and this is the this is the solution. Compassion for self and others. And in that open heart space, the magician uh have you moving again. Yeah, so with this energy you plan. If you don't plan and you just go from day to day, then you can pick up more things. Well, not more things. You can pick up things from the ethers and end up expressing in your day what others have put into the ethers. So it's important to make your uh, creation the dominant creation. Plan out for a year at least. Right. And this is the beginning of something new and this one looks like a pearl diver and so you don't need to go back the key is to keep moving forward yeah okay so let's get an angel card or one of these let's see what it says heart yeah okay so you got that twice it was like this this is what I was feeling as heart here okay so unmarked trail revelation so but moving with that heart believe in your heart that you are meant to live a life full of passion purpose and magic and miracles okay I'll leave you with that